there's enough evil in the world like literally be nice it's not hard i promise i've said it so many times it's not hard <laughs> Hey y'all, it's Bucky and welcome back to our channel. Y'all, today I am so excited. I think I say that every time. But today I really am because I don't think that I've had steak on this channel yet. And y'all, look at it. It looks so good. So I got the, um, the thick cut sirloin. And y'all, I just started grilling today. So I put on our... Um, community tab on YouTube what would y'all like to for me to eat I did like a surf and turf steak and shrimp um, and obviously that one with over like 51% there was the Casey connection cucumber challenge I think that came in next um, I forget what else I did rotisserie chicken but yeah y'all voted for surf and turf so that is what we are doing today so I have this top sirloin thick cut there's four of them there we have some shrimp and y'all again I was just craving I was craving a little bit of king crab so I pulled two out and I was like let's go ahead and fix that too back here we have a basic garlic butter sauce it is literally just butter garlic powder um, some garlic cloves in there and a little bit of pepper over here we have my homemade steak sauce Ooh, it's dripping um, I didn't have any steak sauce in the refrigerator so basically I made up my own. It's some Worcestershire sauce or Worcestershire, however y'all want to say it. Uh, ketchup, pepper. I did. I put some hot sauce in there. Some of the uh, slap your mama uh, seasoning, and I also put that seasoning on the steak and the shrimp. So I am very excited to dig in and just. I need some red meat in my life. So that is what we are going to do. Let's start off with a little shrimpy. Hmm. I did put a little bit of lime juice into this butter sauce as well. It's really good. Ooh, I bet the steak would be good in that too. You know what? Let's go ahead and break into the king crab. Mm. And y'all, thank y'all so much for all the suggestions about how to get the king crab smell out of the house. I know I asked that last week when I posted that video. It has worked, thank goodness. Ooh. Cause the roommates keep complaining every time I eat seafood. I know y'all get tired of seeing pink crab and a lot of like the seafood stuff, but it is so good. But. It does get overdone. I will agree there. All right. I cooked so many steaks. I did way too much. There is four huge thick cut steaks here. I should have thought this out a little better. Y'all today we are going to talk about something a lot of people have been asking for. Um, and y'all, I usually like my steak medium, so I don't know if it's kind of bright, but I think I got it pretty, pretty good. It might be a little medium well. Let's try it without the steak sauce first, though. Mmm. <laughs> I am so happy. Mm-hmm. That slap your mama uh, seasoning on the steak is really good. Yeah, I definitely think it's it's medium well, almost. Yeah, definitely medium well. There's a little bit of pink in there. I usually prefer medium. All right, let's try the steak sauce. Mm-hmm. And y'all, I am so sorry. My neighbor literally decided to start blowing his leaves, even though he is literally just standing there and he's just standing there with it on. 
It's the weirdest thing. I looked out there right before I started filming. I was like, okay, maybe he's about to be done and I can wait and start filming after. But I didn't want the food to get cold. Um, but yeah, he's literally just staying there with it. Just not doing anything. I wanted to go out there and be like, um, excuse me, I need to film, so. I'm sure y'all can probably hear it though, so I apologize because it is loud. Mm. I've gotten so much better at cooking steak. I used to like never like cooking steak because I could never get it to where it like tasted as good or like in the restaurant. But I guess it's maybe like the the cut of beef and stuff a lot of times. But this was actually, and I got this at Food Lion on like a manager special. It was, I think, $13 for all four pieces. So literally not bad at all. Um, gosh, Marty. Mm. Another thing that I was actually thinking today, I was watching um, B-Lo's video, and y'all know that so she moved, or didn't move, but um, she also has a place in Atlanta now. So she's been down there a lot. And she's talking about all the like things in 2020 that you know they're gonna be doing with her brand. Ooh, let's try this in the garlic butter. Ooh, I know that's gonna be good. That might be better than the steak sauce. But wouldn't it be so cool if she got on The Real Housewives of Atlanta? Did any of y'all watch that show? I watch some, like, I watch some of it. That is, like, a guilty pleasure because it's hilarious. Like, these women are just hilarious. And then I also saw that she's got a video with Portia coming up. Um, and y'all know she was on The Real Housewives of Atlanta. I don't know if she still is or not. Um, wouldn't that be so funny though? I think she would be good on it. Hmm. Her, like Candy Burris, Nene Leakes. Because all the women. Hmm. All the women in the Real Housewives of Atlanta are like very like strong, independent. Like they, they all are in the whole franchise, I guess. But something about, about Atlanta, they're like they're like self-made. A lot of them too. So I think that's really cool. And like so is Be Love. So I thought that would be really interesting. I mean, I would watch. Um. But yeah, thank y'all so much. Everybody, in that one video that I posted, I started off singing or whatever. And I did that little Christmas tune in, uh, uh, halfway through. But yeah, so everybody was like, oh my God, you can sing. And thank y'all so much for saying that. Um, I actually went to school. A lot of the new people, you wouldn't know this about me, but, um, I went to school for music, so I got my degree in music business from like a college here in North Carolina. And then right after, I uh, went to Dollywood and performed. And then after I performed up there for a couple of years, I went off to cruise ships. I know if you're, if you've been a watcher from the beginning, you already know this story, but Somebody on our community tab the other day was asking like our favorite place to travel or where 
we love to travel if we've been out of the United States and where we've been. So I kind of wanted to combine that because so many people were saying, oh my gosh, you're such a good singer. Well, I was very lucky and very fortunate to work on cruise ships as a singer. <clears throat> and all of my contracts were in Europe, which was so cool. We did the Mediterranean, then we did the Baltic. And life on a ship is an experience in general. I mean, the living quarters are crazy small. Luckily, I was one of the lucky ones that got my own room. Y'all have those people. Oh, I mean, it sounds like he is like, if he's out there blowing those leaves, he better, it sounds like he should be in our yard. Like he's so close. Watch me like be saying this and then I, I look out and he's like done our leaves and stuff. That would be, I feel like crap. Mm. But yeah, so it's a crazy lifestyle, but it was so fun. Like I went to places that I never even imagined I would get to go to. And So all of them were in Europe, so I mean, everywhere from uh, Italy, France, um, Greece, Denmark, Sweden, I mean, literally, basically everywhere that is in Europe that's close to water or has water near it. Germany, it, it was, it was unbelievable. And then I saw there was, um, so many new people that subscribed to us that were from from Europe. And I was like, that is just so cool. There's something else cool about the internet is it just brings people, everybody together. Oh, I just dropped crab all over the floor. Um, but that was such a fun experience. But the one place that I kind of wanted to talk about today that beat out every other, well, my top two favorite places that I've ever been to are, hang on, I'm gonna get this out of here. There we go. Mm. Top two places, Greece, but in particular, Santorini, Greece. Y'all, when I say that's the most beautiful place that I've ever been, I mean, Literally just Google Santorini, Greece and just look at the pictures. It's it's that and more, like seeing it in person. But the one place, oh yeah. Which steak should I get into? What about this one? The one place that I never imagined I would ever get to go, that I was lucky enough to go to I mean, never in my wildest dreams did I ever think that I would be able to go to this place. But it was Israel. So there was a cruise that was called the Holy Land Cruise. And it was um, like a 14 day cruise that my ship did. And it went from, I forget where the main port was. But basically it went to Israel and Egypt. Mm. Y'all, 
next time you do your steaks, put the Slap Your Mama seasoning on there. Mmm. But it was supposed to go to Israel and in Egypt. But when it got to that time, they, for a while, they didn't even know that we would be able to go to Israel. But they decided to cancel Egypt because there had been so many, um, like attacks and like tourists being abducted at that time. And they just kind of felt it was unsafe uh, for the ship to go there. And so we ended up going to Israel basically the entire time. We were there nine days, I think. And y'all, not only like, I mean, I felt so safe for one. That's what my parents were worried about. They were like, is it gonna be safe? And it was so safe. I felt very, very safe. And I just also like just being there, walking through like Jerusalem, going to the Wailing Wall, the Western Wall, um, and just like walking the footsteps that Jesus, like the path that he took and like when he had the cross on him, there's like the, that path and like a tour that you can do and just kind of follow um, where he had to walk. And it was just such a, unbelievable experience that literally for one I'll remember forever but it was just you felt such a a calming like a peace like a I don't know it was just it was pretty daggum fantastic just you've never felt so close to something that was so important and you just see these people that, I don't know. I mean, I don't want to get into like hardcore like religion and beliefs and stuff like that because I don't know, people have their opinions on it and I just don't want to get too in depth into it because everybody has the right to their own opinion. But being there, I just felt so close to, close to God, close to, you know, you just felt something. I don't know. It was like this higher power that was just, you felt at peace. You just felt, and I guess it's hard. I mean, it's hard to explain, but, and then you just see so many like, races, so many religions. I mean, because there's a bunch of other religions in Israel as well. But, and then them just getting along. Like, everybody's just doing their thing, and it's just, it was so, it was so rewarding. Um, and that's kind of just what we need more of. It's like, let, just love, and like, let people live their life, as long as they're not hurting anybody you know and just be nice to one another like what's so hard about that because i'll tell you right now nobody's perfect and if you claim to be perfect there's something wrong because you're not and i just I don't know, I've kind of just gone off on a tangent and like left kind of what I was talking about. But I just kind of feel like it was weighing on me to talk about it because I feel like there's so much evil and so many like nasty people. And on the other hand, I see these people that feel like, you know, there was a funny church sign that I saw yesterday and it was like, uh, God, what did it say? Mm. Hang on. Okay, so I found what the church sign said. It said, you never will get spiritually fit if you only work out on Sunday. And is that not so true and like such a good quote? And 
Lord, I've just went completely different than what I was expecting with this. But, um, it's just like, I don't know. People can just be so hateful and just think that like, you know, on Sunday you have to, you know, have to go and just show face at church when religion, spirituality, and everything really is so much more than that. And it's just sad that a lot of people do think that it's like just a Sunday thing and it's almost that they just need to go for other people to see them there to where they'll look like a good Christian or a good whatever your religion. And I don't know, it's just, that's just kind of funny that that's how it is when ultimately show it every day, even if you're not religious, even just be nice. Like why there's enough evil in the world. Like literally be nice. It's not hard. I promise. I've said it so many times. It's not hard. But, y'all, I am so full. These other two, I mean, these steaks were huge. And I'm like in a meat coma right now. But, I'll talk about more of the traveling and stuff if y'all want to hear it. I don't know, I just somehow, Israel, and then I was relating it to, you know, just somebody's spiritual journey. And just how amazing, like, I don't know, that was. And how, you know, just the being there was just such an unbelievable experience and just being there where so much history, I mean, so much history, um, took place. It was just, I mean, words cannot explain, but if y'all would like to hear more about my traveling, the other countries, other places I've been, let me know down below. So I'm going to finish with the shrimp and this butter garlic sauce, but y'all thank y'all for being so supportive. Sorry. If you haven't already, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell because we always upload Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, but you never know. We could throw up some on Tuesdays and Thursdays or over the weekend. So make sure you hit that notification bell so you are notified every time we post and when we go live. And y'all just remember, when life gets tough, just keep on snacking. Bye, y'all. I swear, every time I try to do a story time, I get off on some other, like, some other topic. It's crazy. Lord help. Oh, those steaks are huge.